we're now going to look at a few image file formats used for storing bitmap images and basically some of these images are for file compression so it's important we understand the differences between them so basically here are the four file formats we're going to look at a bitmap image a joint pictures expert group image a graphical interchange format image and a portable network graphic image so firstly is the bitmap image and basically a bitmap image is an uncompressed bitmap image so if we remember a bitmap image is made up of pixels okay and this is basically the pure image without any form of compression on it it has a wide range of colors okay and because it's not compressed it can be quite a large file size depending on its resolution and it stores a lot of data about the image such as the bitmap identifier file size width and color options okay but it's the completely uncompressed raster image the next uh, type of image we'll look at is a joint pictures expert group now this is a compressed version of an image and basically it is compressed in an actual lossy format and by being a lossy compression method it means that it doesn't retain any data about the original image so that data cannot be reverted back to an uncompressed format this is how the compression takes place so I can't get the image back to an original quality and if I want to modify the image it's kind of going to make it look really ugly but the benefit of this type of image is its wide palette of colors it has a 24-bit color palette so these images quite often used for taking photos as long as the compression method is used at a high resolution it gives me still a very nice and colorful photo but the second I try to edit that image or make it of a higher quality the image is probably ruined okay but JPEG images are great for photographs on digital cameras okay where we have lots of colors available okay and it gives us a good compression format next is the graphical interchange format now this is actually a painted compression method and it actually really reduces the file size of the image when we use it perhaps to the lowest level okay the reason it's done here is because we don't have as many colors on offer okay so we've got 256 indexed colors and it's brought down to this level uh, this amount of colors and that's how I bring my file size down okay because a lossless compression format is used here I can refer this image back to its uncompressed state so I can re-edit the image okay and that will push back up the file size obviously but I do have that option okay but basically these images are of the lowest quality because it has the least amount of colors available the final type we'll look at is the portable network graphic and the PNG image is was focused on addressing constraints of the GIF file format so there are more colors available as well as there being more options for transparencies there's an 8-bit transparency channel so unlike GIF where it's either completely opaque or completely transparent and uh, PNG offers a range of transparencies as well as more colors on available so both GIFs and PNGs are great for uh, images on websites okay so there's small file sizes where text can be clear okay with simpler colors okay so this is great for buttons and elements of our web pages so a PNG is kind of the middle ground between a JPEG and a graphic in that it has more colors available and it's got a higher file size than a GIF okay but obviously more colors available than a GIF okay so um, basically its file sizes are a bit larger than a GIF but obviously um, and also larger than a JPEG as well because you're getting the best of both worlds so that's just an outline of the four different types of images let's look at an image saved in all four formats so if we take a look here here's the crest of uh, Maris College Cogra okay in its original form it is 308 kilobytes in an uncompressed bitmap format okay in a PNG format it is 87 kilobytes so I have more colors than a GIF okay but also saved in a lossless format so it's retaining data about its original state so that's what gives it its certain file size in a GIF format it is at its lowest um, file size its highest compression okay at 24 kilobytes but it has the least amount of colors being used okay and that is the opposite to a joint pictures expert group uh, format where it's at 48 kilobytes it has more colors in it than both the PNG and the GIF format okay but it is in a lossy format which means I can't restore it back to its original BMP format and I can't really edit it so I hope this all gives you a better understanding of the difference between the four file format basically bitmap is uncompressed okay 
it's, so it's in its pure file format. Both PNGs and um, GIFs are in a lossless compression format where the original data about the image is retained and can be reverted back to, but they have less colors available. And a JPEG has, is in a lossy format, which doesn't retain any data about how it was originally uh, created. Okay, But it does have many colors on offer, making it great for um, images taken by a digital camera. So I hope that gives you a good understanding of the four different file formats.